To lay the foundation, Eustace uses time-tested construction methods that make use of the resources nature provides. These foundation rocks that we're putting in, they're going to support the post that's sitting on top of them. Uh, so these posts just don't sink down in the ground. Oh, that sucker is heavy. But you have to have a big rock so it will sort of spread out the weight of the big old building. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Three. Three. Well, this lumber building that we have in mind is a huge job. That's 2,400 square feet. That's twice as large as a lot of people's homes in my neck of the woods. Yeah, muddy and perfect. The rain makes it really hard to work in because the mud just sort of gets muddier. But it's been raining so much, we don't know when the dry day is coming along. So we're just going to go ahead and keep moving on this thing. Well, we've got enough rocks now where we can start putting the post up. We're going to need some stakes, aren't we? Yeah, buddy. Next, they need to raise the support beams onto the foundation stones. One, two, three. That locust is heavy. That locust is rot resistant. It's the very best material you can use. Uh, when you get a, a six by six, 14 foot long locust post, it's just going to be a handful. One, two, three. One, two. That's good. Now back out of the way so I don't break your leg. Oh my gosh, that thing is so heavy it'd smash the marrow out of the end of your toenail. Each beam weighs 400 pounds, but Eustace and Preston don't use heavy equipment. In the Appalachian tradition, they do the job by hand. Moving in for the thrill? Yeah, boy. Yeah. Goodness gracious. One, two. Trying to balance these big, long posts on top of a rock, that's a lot of weight, and it's up high. I'm a little bit nervous about that. Let me see if I can hold it. You get that push pole. Got it? Yeah. Oh, man. Hurry. <laughs> One, two, three. One. You be three. careful. I can slip. <laughs> Watch it! Ah, 